Air signs. What's up? Happy, happy motherfucking December the 7th through the 13th is going to be your December through December 7th through the 13th. 2020 reading or whenever you find these. I have got a little bit of a treat today using this cool new book as an oracle. Um, <clears throat> so a few housekeeping things. First, welcome back. Uh, thank you for finding us if you're new. Uh, remember to like this video, subscribe, share, comment. Anything you can do is, is helpful. I would appreciate it. Uh, if you're looking for a private reading, please go over my over to my Instagram page at grateful underscore Drake. Hit me in my DMs and I'll get back to you and we'll set it up and get a crack of lacking. I'm also holding a contest over there. Um, so you can check the details of that out. I'm giving away three tarot readings. Um, about sending your friends and your family uh, to subscribe to my channel as well. So details are on my Instagram page. Um, I do additional readings also on my Instagram page. So give your girl a follow at grateful underscore Drake um, every Tuesdays and Fridays. So when you can catch a free reading, why not? All right, y'all, you ready to get this cracking? So um, I recently, those of you who follow me on Instagram, uh, talked about my stories that I had a visit a very creepy visit from a very creepy looking spider um, um, walk on my arm while I was in the kitchen um, doing some organizing or organizing and and cleaning of the shelves um, and which sparked me to want to really delve into some uncomfortable areas of my psyche that I I'd rather not focus on but I felt I mean spider walking on me in the middle of the day I'm moving I'm doing things like this guy decided to jump on me or fall on me or um, to, to bring me a message I truly feel that when we encounter these terrifying for me that was terrifying um, that it means something everything means something life is a symbol the synchronicities they're all symbols okay so it's our job to get to the bottom of the deeper meaning I reached out to a friend who um, this lady, this woman is so incredible, but, um, she referred this book to me. I, I, she sent me a couple pages. She took a picture and I was like, gotta have that book. Um, cause it had this spider symbolism in here. And so I was able to do some research using this book and I thought this book is just like a deck. You can literally, uh, flip it around, turn it, uh, pick a page and it'll have a message for you. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and start you guys off that way today. Let's motherfucking get into it. Thank you for being here. Air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so this comes under the house and home um, category in the book. You guys got gate or door, okay? So what is a gate? What's a door? A gate keeps you in. A gate keeps things out. A door um, is an is a, is a entry point. It's a walkway th from one thing to another. You're, you're walking. I'm seeing my hallway there's a doorway into my room. So you're transitioning from one space into another, transitioning from one energy to another, growing, evolving. Doorways are also incredibly sturdy, right? They say in an earthquake here in California, um, <clears throat> no longer they say to get under the table. Last thing I heard, they want you to get into a doorway because the frame of a door is incredibly stable. You hold on. So... Um, we're looking at these entryways, these entry points, these transitions that air signs that you're going through at this time. Just go ahead and look at some of these pictures. Like these are really incredible images of doors. So actually, um, art, art pieces. Oh, this is actually an Irish cathedral door. Incredible. From the 13th century. Okay. Let me just read a tad gates beckon come in says the beautiful gate on our first image but they can also bar us and convey no admit no admittance no admit admittance 
don't come in. Gates stand between here and there, between the known and the unknown. As a, at a psychological level, gates are found between the inner world and the outer world, between sleeping and waking. We labor to bring a half-remembered dream through the gateway between sleep and the daylight, right? So what's happening as you're waking up in the morning? What are, you go, what, what are your habits in the morning as you're waking? Do you remember your dreams? Could it be easier to remember your dreams if you slow down, if you um, are more mindful and uh, purposeful in how you move in the morning? Some of you guys might even need to be, be looking at your dreams, interpreting your dreams, spending time with your dreams before you even touch your, before your feet even touch the ground, right? I know for myself, that's advice I will take myself. Um, <clears throat> I was doing really good at that for a while and then I kind of fell off so I need to get back on. A mother's body is the gateway opening to this world, the tomb, the gateway to what comes after death. In ancient Egypt, a doorway in the tomb was built to allow free passage in and out to the soul. In Judaism, death was called the door to Sheol. I, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, the underworld. In our everyday world, gates and doors protect the house and the life of the family from strangers. Cities and nations erect gates and barriers at their borders. In ancient times, the two-faced god Janus protected both entrance to and exit from Roman cities. Okay, so the gatekeeper also are you the gatekeeper do you protect your family are you the protector are you making sure everyone's okay are you doing too much of that interesting secret doorways when you buy a new house there are all these doors that you can open up and look in and some might be a little spooky some might feel a little bit scary and intimidating we had this one door in my old house when I was growing up um, that led, it was a doorway for storage that led, it went underneath the stairwell, right? So it was this hole, it was deep, so you, it, but it was low because it was underneath the stairs. So you could walk and I was always really scared to go in there, but always really wanting to go in there. Very intrigued by it, but also very scared of it. Um, so I rarely went in there, but, um, it was kind of this mysterious, majestic place, right? What do we have here? So somebody's feeling very restricted or constricted, maybe even gated in, right? Kind of reminds me of a gate. So somebody feels like they don't have a choice at this time, like they're not free to move. I'm going to move slow today. Um, so first card out is the hangman. It's reversed. So somebody's feeling kind of anxious or unwilling to kind of slow down. This might be a kind of uncomfortable period where you're, you're waiting for something. Um, you're waiting back to here, waiting back, waiting for something. Okay. But um, you're resisting it. Uh, the advice with the hangman is instead of um, waiting by the phone, keeping track of time, oh, waiting, 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 you got to sit in it and get and just get patient, okay? Um, because it's stealing your mind. You got the thief, okay? So when we are so anxious and um, not present and fearful of what's next and waiting, 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 you're missing all you're missing your life it's just passing you by because you're stuck in this kind of fearful um space next card that came out is the labyrinth so kind of feeling like this endless fuck like waiting to get to the finish line but you're just uh, kind of lost and swept away in your own thoughts and just feeling very overwhelmed okay so the hangman reversed is um baby you're growing and 
it, it's a reason they call it growing pains, okay? Look at him, he looks uncomfortable. Okay, this is the upright position. It came like this for you guys. He's uncomfortable, but he's surrendered to the discomfort in order to um, become more enlightened. Yes, so the next card out the gate for you guys is the High Priestess, my girl right here. This is such a bomb card to get. Um, combined with the Hangman, these are both major arcana cards, so major themes in your life. At this time, air signs are one, you need to be patient and let it happen. You need to um, surrender. You need to, it's a little uncomfortable right now. You kind of don't know what's ahead of you, but you got to just submit to the time. Stop waiting and begin to be patient. The other theme, the theme of the high priestess is about being, um, see how she has a cross in her chest, right here at her chest. Um, the chest is the place um, where you're supposed to fill into and be quiet. She's a very kind of secluded, quiet, psychic path. That inner knowing in, inside her, the intuition is going to tell you what to do. You don't need to ask anybody, get anybody's approval or anything like that. Um, girl, that's crazy. My friend just texted me. Um, anyway, she's air sign. Anyway, um, so this is that space here that we're really connecting with. Okay, really sitting in and getting still. This is a time to be still. Be still, okay? Um, when I pulled clarification cards, ah, she's a, she's a psychic path. Okay, you have a choice here. You have a choice here with the high priestess. She's labeled number two. You have a choice. You can either go on this ha, ha, ha path or you can be still and let the waters flow through you. Let the Let yourself flow. And just surrender to the direction that life takes you instead of being, ah, okay? Um, she's psychic. She's intuitive. She does not need to be told what to do or how to move. Um, that's not what I wanted to do, but I'm going to take it anyway since I've, I looked at it. So there's also an aspect to your psychic abilities and your intuition that has to do with taking a second look, You're paying attention to details. You really got to get quiet to feel it because what's going to happen is you're going to try and find it and you're going to get all these other thoughts that keep popping in. But the, the one that's meant for you will be the thought that comes when you are trying the least. Surrendering, right? They want you to do the right thing. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. You guys got high honor when I'm looking for clarification about the high priestess. High honor. What the fuck? What is that about? High honor. Do the right thing. Pay attention to the details. And maybe not pay attention to the details. You guys got the magnifying class, glass, which is pay attention to details. Maybe there's some sort of kind of um, something you're overlooking. But, do you, but do, maybe don't go looking for it. It'll, it'll become apparent, okay? It'll become apparent, but they really want you to shut, shut up. Be quiet, okay? The high priestess is quiet. She she works in solitude, okay? She's kind of a hermit. Um, you also get occupation. So some of you guys are, are dealing with issues um, within your occupation. There may even be kind of um, an issue going on at work or within career that's going to require you to look at it from a different perspective, Okay. They want you to use your intuition at work. They want you to use your intuition within your career. Okay, you may even be moving up. You pay attention to details if you're going to be, um, you know, talking about contracts and raises and things like that. Pay attention to the details in the paperwork. Mm. 
Okay, air signs, slow down, okay? Next one out is the Knight of Swords, okay? So he is your your um, your guy. Your, he's a air element card, okay? Um, he, he, he's the only knight that, um, double check, that's like, look at him. He's the only knight whose horse is running, like fucking full speed. He also happens to be facing the, the, the past position. So there is either somebody in your life or there's an element of your situation that tends to go back to the past, that tends to think about the past, that tends to worry a lot. Um, it's also the Knight of Swords. Yes, he's very um, chivalrous. He, he wants to be there to help. He is... Um, a noble person when he's upright um, but he's kind of impulsive okay so he kind of wants the quick fix this is somebody or some element to the situation that's very logical so they, they do want you to use um, not that you have to think it apart anymore but they want you to to do the thing that if you had to make a snap choice a fast choice because um, he, this Knight of Swords faces the High Priestess. So you are supposed to make the choice or supposed to respond in a way that is, if, if needed to be answered quickly, uh, using that gut, uh, hurry up, you got to make it, go with that. Okay, that's the, the right choice to make. That can be tricky though, because um, sometimes we fall into habitual answers. So... We're just looking at using a combination of intellect and intuition, psychic abilities, okay? You guys got, and I forgot what this one means. So let me pull the book. I think this is called the tower in this deck, but it has a different significance than the um, original tower. It's number 19. Oh, wrong one. <clears throat> the tower yes so some of you this is work okay corporations organizations institutions and governments come under my influence i am boundaries and restrictions so be mindful of isolation i describe your ambitions as well as your expectations and let's not forget your higher education so some of you guys are rushing and trying to finish something up at work or finish something up within career, okay? So um, maybe crossing the line, um, crossing boundaries or borders of some sort. Courthouse. Interesting. You got, in, you got the tower, which is symbolic for institutions, buildings, corporations, and you also got the courthouse. So some of you guys are dealing with legal issues within work, legal issues, documentation, and things like that with work. Um, yeah, and so that's why you get the hangman reverses because you, you're, at this time, can't see the, the situation for its in its full scope. You're only seeing from your little perspective okay you think you know it all but you don't so there's much more to this situation that, than what meets the eye okay they want you to slow down obviously was my main thing and to um, see it from a broader perspective okay reverse um, six of wands this is um, Feeling like or worrying about not being victorious, okay? Really kind of um, maybe even you've slowed down or stopped the amount of energy you have been using to, to get to this place, okay? Perhaps uh, you have been wanting recognition within the workplace or recognition in your situation. You wanted to be seen or heard, but you don't feel seen or heard, okay? Perhaps you're even just really laying low, like you don't want to be seen at all. Um, you really just want to be to yourself, okay? If so, that's can be a good thing. That can be a good thing. Let's see what comes out about this. Six of Wands, please. Six of Wands. 
Six of Wands, Six of Wands. Six of Wands. Six of Wands reverse, please. Six of Wands for air signs reverse. One card, please. Bad health. So whatever this situation is, is making you feel not good, okay? The actual physical, like, disease ailment that is going on in your family, or it could just be metaphorical, not feeling well. Due to all the stress, you may be really low on energy also. <clears throat> Wands are symbolic of movement, action, passion, desire, creativity. And when we have reverse wands, which this is a reverse six of wands, looking at like um, just kind of a, <clears throat> a lull in your energy, not having a lot to give um, and slowing down. Okay. <clears throat> you're looking for a commitment. You're looking for that ring. Um, so you guys got the ring. The ring is symbolic of commitment, union, engagement, marriage, um, that type of thing. If you're not thinking about relationships, this isn't about relationships. This is about any type of promise. Um, so it could be paperwork, you know, sign, putting your name on that. Um, um, promotions. Um, this can be um, new jobs, okay? This can be new relationships or, or, or relationships where you're seeking a commitment or a promise, okay? Maybe the... If this is about a relationship, this seeing this combination of cards, bad health, and the ring kind of tells me that you're focused on this incessant focus on perhaps needing some sort of commitment or union with this person is making you not feel well, is making you feel sick. Okay? And it doesn't have to be like physically sick, it can make you be feel making you feel mentally or spiritually sick. But baby. Uh, relax, okay, because here we have the Page of Pentacles. This is something that is being, um, a, a seed has been planted, uh, new, new babies growing, um, baby is, uh, could be real, but is metaphorical for just something in the creation process that's new. Okay, you've got home. I'm looking for clarification on this Page of Pentacles, and we got home. And we got the moon card. So um, <clears throat> some of us are having a hard time with the slow pace. Uh, pe Pentacles are the card of, are the earth sign cards, right? Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. The earth signs are known to be the slowest moving signs in the zodiac. We are, we, I'm a Capricorn, are thorough, we're stable. You can count on us. We're loyal, but we fucking take our time. We're very slow. So, um, because we're thorough. Okay. So page of pentacles is the development is the slow development of this payoff. If it's career, it's going to be a slow and steady, but reliable and dependable growth okay if it's a relationship slow steady but reliable and dependable so just slowly moving okay but it's it's something that will bear fruit okay it's very very fruitful uh, to get the home in the moon that comes out for clarification with this card it tells me that it can be hard for you to move at this pace. It can feel um, lonely and it can feel sad and it makes you feel... Home is symbolic of like your sense of um, knowing yourself. Home is kind of your is representative of your spirit or your body. And if we get it combined with the moon card, it shows that you're kind of going through this phase that feels um, very unsteady for you. It feels very um, unpredictable. It's kind of not, it's not what you're comfortable with. This speed, this, speed, this pace, this slow movement, this, this kind of thorough fucking shit. Why can't we just jump to the chase already? It's, does, it's not fun for you, okay? But you got some really good cards, okay? Um, so we're looking at slow and steady wins the race, friends, okay? Let's get one more clarification card for this page of pentacles. 
this slow moving process, this slow moving person. One more air signs, page of pentacles, page of pentacles. Page of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. There we go. Toil and labor. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, toil and labor. You were like, what the fuck? This shit is fucking tedious and slow and fucking monotonous. This shit is like fucking... Oh, taking forever not even taking forever but it's just like you're just not enjoying it look at her hard at work it's like fucking just just to pay the bills i hate being here it's just not fun okay so um some of you need a career change some of you guys are going through major transitions within career um okay <clears throat> interesting cards where are we on time very good alex very good i like this spread today let's check the bottom of the deck Dun -dun -dun. okay so we get the three of cups which is celebrations and, and and coming coming together with our families and our our loved ones there may be a little bit of a halt to that at this time um we maybe thought that we'd be celebrating more by this time than we are um there's some kind of like on pause with these gatherings or coming togethers. Let's pull some oracle for you guys. Air signs. Okay, new beginnings. You guys are um, have wrapped up a cycle. Something has finished up. You've you've gained some clarity on something, or um, you realize something. Um, something has come to an end, and and now it's time to start the cycles again. Okay, so let's move forward. We're making better choices this time than we made last time. Okay, fresh start. This is a creative, passionate energy coming in, okay? New beginnings. The next card you guys got is compassion. Remember, moving forward, you got to have empathy and compassion for those around you. In order to be successful, you got to be able to empathize, not sympathize. Sympathy is like, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, you poor baby. It's like kind of, um, uh, the word is what, pa patronizing? It's kind of a, you poor baby, like, no, we're empathizing. We're getting in that person's energy. We're getting in that person standing in their shoes and really thinking what it would be like to be them and what have they been going through, okay? Within the next few weeks, there's some information. Something's going to be coming within the next few weeks. Let's pull a clarification card. Let's just pull one. What's going on within the next few weeks? What is it within the next few weeks? Within the next few weeks, there are signs, please. What is this within the next few weeks? What is this within the next few weeks? within the next few weeks. Within the next few weeks, within the next few weeks. Within the next few weeks, within the next few weeks, What is this? Okay, there it is. You have a choice to make, another choice. Well, that's a little annoying. I'm gonna pull another card. Um, a choice to make maybe the end of the kind of rough patch let's see what's coming out next pull. let's take that oh shit four of wands oh 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 okay so within the next few weeks there's going to be some direction or some choice that you're making okay that feels prosperous okay the ending of um rough times um a commitment okay um a, a finalization or a foundation that's going to feel really fruitful and it's going to make you feel like ah uh, like, um, I can do anything I want to do moving forward. This is decision, having a lot of decisions to make and choices in front of you that feel fun to make. Dream big. 
Wow, I was having so much fun I didn't even realize uh, I was at the end. So let's wrap you up. Air signs, crazy. I went right over. This is like so fun for me that I lost track of time. Last card. I was like, why did my camera turn off? And I went to go look and I was like, oh, because it timed out. My camera is, has some old setting. Deception. Okay, so something's going to come to light too. What's this? Oh, y'all ain't, ain't going to leave you like that. Deception on deception. What is this about? Let me pull one card. Look, it shows a woman at work and it looks like her colleagues are gossiping. Okay, so this is separate from within the next few weeks. It might be, might not be. But also there's just going to be some clarity with something. Okay, yeah, dealing with partnerships, okay? Okay, that's going to help you feel, um, bring you back to balance. It's going to make you feel really... What's the last card? This doesn't make sense. Deception. 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 Some of you might be finding out some news that's making it hard for you to kind of focus or sleep, okay? Um... Stand your ground. Okay, center card is Nine of Pentacles. She knows her worth. Okay, she stands in her body. Has to do with your connections with other people. Comes with Two of Cups. So, some sort of connection you have with somebody that's gonna... You're gonna get some information, it feels like. Fucking hate ending like that, but... Time's up. I love you guys. See you on the next one. Like my shit, please. Thank you.